John 14. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. John 15. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. First John 3. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. Chapter 6. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages, For the wages of, sin, of sin, sin is death. death. Romans 7. What then shall we say? That the law is sin? By no means. Yet, if it had not been for the law, I would not have known sin. For I would not have known what it is to covet, if the law had not said, You shall not covet. John 5. Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, consider this. Consider when any man or woman will choose disobedience above obeying me, I say they are choosing death. And I say, consider likewise when the ones who claim they are mine will not obey me, but serve their idols instead, I say they are choosing the way of damnation. For I say it is not what a man says, but what he does that shows who it is that he loves. For I say that a man may speak great swelling words of love and adoration towards me, yet I say that he disobeys. And I say when he walks in disobedience, he proves that he does not love me, and he proves that he loves his idols, including his own self. Now I say this day the idol of God am not deceived by the words of men, but I say that I mark them in what it is that they do. And I say that the ones who will obey me, the ones who will walk in obedience unto me, then I say they are the ones who are loving me. Now I say this day you are living in times when disobedience and rebellion are the way of life. That is, multitudes have turned aside to such vanities and darkness, and yes, they are loving it so. That is, they are loving to estrange themselves from my way to go pouring after that which I did not intend. And I say, in so doing, they have chosen a way that will prove to be despair unto their souls. Now I say, this day when I do live in God do offer to the sons of men the way of my truth and my life, I say, they are meant to be thankful unto me. That is, they are meant to be thankful to be uplifted, guided, and directed in the way that I give to my own. And I say, they are meant to be thankful that it is me they can look to, believe, and entrust day by day. For I say it is the that have been God who is the way of all righteousness, truth, mercy, hope, and peace provided. Now I say this day when I will have been God to give to the ones who will serve me the way wherein they will be kept and they obey me, then I say they are found well pleasing. But I say when any turns aside to disobedience, to rebellion, to pride, I say they are turning to death. I say this day there are endless multitudes who are claiming that they are my people, Yet I say they are serving idols, and I say they are following the Babylonian Jesus rather than me. And I say all the while they may speak great swelling words, they may put on their proud displays, they may exhibit their false love towards me day after day. But I say if they disobey me, if they walk according to the lust of the flesh, the pride of life and worship idols, I say they are serving another God. And I say their Babylonian Jesus allows them to do anything that they want to do. I say that absolutely is not me. For I say that I don't have been God will require and desire standard to be kept in my own. Now I say this day be thankful that you do not need to be found in the wayward way of careless fools. For I say that fools will be taken in their folly and likewise destroyed. But I say that you can be uplifted coming forth directed, guided and instructed each day by me. And I say that you can be given the truth and the light that I provide. Now I say in these wicked times that you are in, I say there are endless multitudes who have chosen to walk afar off from me. And I say they have chosen to go in the way of boredom, they have chosen to go in the way of contamination and defilement, and yes, they are loving it so. And I say it is because they have chosen to oppose the very truth, the very light that I offer day after day. 
and I say they went on boring after that, which I the living God did not intend. Now I say this day when I the living God do give the call to all men to repent, I say that is exactly what they need. And I say when men through the smugness of religious pride will wave the hand and declare they are all right with me, no, they are deceiving themselves. For I say they are living under the auspices of their idols and the Babylonian Jesus and declaring they are all right when it absolutely is not true. For I say if all men did not need the call to repent, I would not give the same. Now I say this day be trusting that I the living God do know exactly what it is that I do. For I say that I measure men by their obedience and likewise their disobedience towards me. And I say when a man will strive to bring himself into obedience unto me through repentance, revolution, and accepting the humility way, then I say that he's bound well pleasing unto me. But I say when a man is living in his own pride, in the idolatry of his lust and the estimation as to how great he is, I say that he's living in Babylon's Jesus. That is, he is not abiding in me, but I say that he's worshiping another god. I say this day that I the living God do desire that men would truly repent, that they could indeed see the falsehood, that they could indeed see the darkness, that they could indeed see the iniquity of their own way. For I say when men will repent, I say they are able to walk uprightly in me. But I say when men are full of falsehood, delusion, hypocrisy and pretension, of course they will go on in their own evil way. And I say they will esteem themselves better than they are, I say they will wave the hand and declare that they are okay. But I say the truth of it is that all men in these times need repentance, revolution in their lives. And I say by the mere contamination that has gone out over the whole world, I say that men need to repent. And I say it was my intention that all men would serve me and love me and praise me and walk uprightly in me. So I say when you see the nations that have gone a whoring, that have chosen idols above the truth, that have gone after that which is imitation and emulation and fabrication and crafty invention, know that they are all damned. That is, if they do not repent and return to me. For I say that I the living God have made the provision for all men to come in to me and I say they are meant to take the same. That is, they are meant to give themselves over to repentance unto me to abandon idols and walk uprightly in me. For I say when men will truly choose my way, then I say they know revolution in their lives. But I say when men will attempt to hold to their idols and serve me, then I say they are taken in the way of deception. I say that is exactly what it is that has brought forth the invention of Babylon's Jesus. That is an imitation God, an emulation, a fabrication, and a crafty invention that absolutely is not me. Now I say this day that I the living God do not absolutely do not intend that you would be serving Babylon's Jesus. For I say to do so is to serve a lie, is to serve an invention, and is to serve the very thing that will damn your soul. But I say that I the living God am calling on men to repent, to return, to come in to me. That is, to be gathered in, that they can indeed be kept in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to repentance, revolution, which is simultaneous with the call to gather in unto me. That is, my people are not meant to be scattered, they are not meant to be wandering and desolate, but I say they are meant to be gathered into me. That is, gathered into the truth, the light, the strength that I offer day by day, and gathered into the way that I purpose for my own. Now I say this day, be thankful that you can continue to love me, to serve me, and obey me each and every day. And I say, be thankful that you can be brought forth in that which I offer and provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy intended. And it is me, the living God, who ever uplifts, directs, and guides forth the people who will keep their focus, their vision steady upon me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do know what it is that I desire and require for my own. And I say when I give the call to them, they are meant to obey. That is, they are meant to obey me, to come forth in me and be directed each day. But I say when men will refuse and resist the call that I give, where do they end? I say they end in a heap, they end in devastation and despair. I say this day be accepting the call to repentance, revolution, and I say be thankful each day for my humility way. 
And I say, be living that repentance by changing how it is that you think, how it is that you act, what it is that you do. For I say, if you will indeed be adhering unto me and walking in the way that I offer, then I say, you are found pleasing unto me. And I say, you are given the truth and the light, the mercy, the strength that I provide. Now I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, and wicked generation, be thankful for the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me, and be brought forth by me. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be found in the confusion, the delusion, the madness of those who are wandering and those who are walking under the auspices of idols in Babylon's Jesus. For I say, to walk in those places is to enter into desolation of soul. But I say, to walk in me is to remain in communion and union in divine community that I ordain. That is, to be coming forth in repentance, revolution, the humility way of being joined unto me. Now I say this day that I don't have in God to intend that my own people would be made one in me. That is, by the unity of my spirit brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day be thankful for the privilege to believe, receive, and be guided forth by me. And I say be thankful to walk in what it is that I offer unto my own day by day. Now I say, in a wayward, a vile, a corrupt, and evil generation, consider that it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who will serve me the way wherein they are kept. Consider likewise that it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who will obey me the way of eternal life. For I say, it is a privilege to be redeemed, to be brought forth, to be given the truth always. And I say, it is a privilege to be knowing that I am indeed, that I am God. I say, this day when I, the living God, do give the way of my truth, my light, my mercy, I say, be thankful to be guided forth in the same. That is, be thankful that you can indeed be partaking of that which I give you day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who feeds you with the bread of heaven. That is, I give to my own exactly what they have need of each and every day. And I say, when my people are thankful to be in me, then they are guided forth by me. Now I say this day that by the living God do intend that you would be keeping yourselves in allegiance with me because it is me you are meant to please. And I say it is me the living God who does intend that you would be uplifted and strengthened, guided and directed each day. For I say you are not meant to be found with the wayward careless fools who are full of disobedience and rebellion towards me. But I say you are meant to be accepting correction and direction and being brought forth in me. Now I say this day that I, a living God, do make provision for my own, and I say that my people are meant to be respecting me. That is, that I do provide, that I do make the way, that I do uplift and bring forth. For I say, if you will indeed be thankful for what it is that I, a living God, do give to thee, then I say you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, truth, mercy, and hope day by day. I say this day be glad for the privilege to believe, to receive, and be brought forth in the newness of life that I the living God do intend that which I provide. For I say it is a privilege to keep on serving, to keep on loving, to keep on following me. And I say it is a privilege to be knowing that I am indeed the one who will direct you each day. That is, I am the one who gives you newness of life that you can indeed be purposed by me. I say, therefore, in this wayward, vile, corrupted, and evil generation, be glad that I, the living God, am the one who gives you the truth each and every day. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be entangled in the way of fools all to your own damnation. I say, be thankful that you do not need to be in the deception of Babylon's Jesus and following after the wind. For I say, there are many who will find themselves empty and destitute and desolate of soul when they stand before me. For I say, they have gone after the things of the world, they have heaped up unto themselves the pride of life. I say, they have pursued the idols of their lust and loved itself. But I say, in the end, they will howl in the desolation, the futility, the emptiness, and the damnation that awaits them for their refusal to obey me. And I say, they thought their false God would secure them, but I say, they will find that Babylon's Jesus deserts them in the end. I say this day, be thankful to walk in repentance, revolution, the humility way that is my life. He's trying to get my attention. He's trying to get me back before I... Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! The people in hell are...